so you power on the fuel cell first. Then once they power using the LED view program, you turn on the hydrogen two generator. The hydrogen generator will then light up. So you just press this button to let it start increasing the PSI level before it can charge the hydrogen fuel tank. This process will take a while. Uh, so now the fuel in the hydrogen generator is almost fully charged. Once it reach around 200 PSI, the H2 light will light up. This indicates that it's ready to discharge and uh, charge the hydrogen storage metal. So now you just need to open the first valve and you'll hear the click sound. And you can open this to open the valve to the hydrogen storage. Then you can press the discharge button. And now, as you can see, the PSI on both sides are equal because the pressure has spread out because of the open ball. So, we have to wait until the PSI of the hydrogen storage is about 180, which is the maximum cap level. Uh, now when the PSI has reached a stable level, it shows that the hydrogen storage has been fully charged. At this point, you can just turn off the H2 generator and you can close the valve. Then make sure that you close the valve to the hydrogen storage as well. Now, after we connect the source, the DC microgrid voltage is higher than the battery's voltage. Hence, current flow from DC microgrid to the battery, therefore charging it. As you can see, the DC microgrid is now drawing electrical energy from two different sources, the human power generator and the fuel cell. They are charging the battery at a rate of 23.36 volts and 1.43 amperes. This is shown in the real-time display located at the bottom of the screen. This will allow users to make educated and well-informed choices on the amount of electrical energy that they are using in their household appliances. The microgrid is able to incorporate multiple sources and loads, thus making it extremely scalable. When there are no energy sources available, the stored electrical energy in the battery can be discharged to power household appliances such as light bulbs, as shown.